guys, it's Devin, and today I'm going to do my best products of 2012. Um, I've got all kinds of different stuff here. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm going to try to stick to categories, though. And I've got a couple of random things that I threw in. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about each individual product because the majority of them have been on a favorites video throughout the year. So um, if you want any more information about any product specifically, just ask me in the down bar and I will um, get back to you on that. So I'm going to start with moving this over here and I'm going to start with skincare. Um, one brand that stood out to me in particular this year is the Olay Henriksen brand. I bought the Three Little Wonders kit and it came with the Truth Serum Collagen Booster and the Invigorating Night Gel and the Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. Loved all three. I really, really like this brand. I can't wait to get some more products from this brand throughout the year of 2013 and give them a try. I really like it because I can tell a difference in my skin when I use it. Another product that stood out to me was the Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Peel and Reveal Dermal Resurfacer. Um, it instantly transforms your skin with intensive anti-aging resurfacer 3-in-1 peel with AHAs, exfoliate with pumpkin enzymes, and polish with aluminum oxide. Um, best face mask that I've ever used hands down I love it. Another skincare item is the Josie Marin Argon Daily Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Lotion. This is my favorite SPF by far. I'm going to get um, the bigger bottle. This just came in a little kit that I got um, because it doesn't smell like SPF. I don't like to, I know I have to wear an SPF, but I don't like to smell like SPF all day and this doesn't and it doesn't break me out. It, it's just the best SPF I've ever used. Um, another really big standout product for me was the Pangea Organics Balancing Oil, Himalayan, Himalayan Geranium and Pomegranate. Um, my skin's been through hell and back this year. If you guys have been watching me all year, you know that it's just it's changed a lot this year, two or three different times. And this balancing oil has really saved me when I was having dry patches and things were starting to look cakey when I, you know, wore my foundation. Um, this has been a fantastic product for that. And it's for all skin types. So I really, really enjoyed that. Okay, moving on to hair. I have to move products. My desk is not big enough here. Um, the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I love this mask. This is just one of the little um, sample sizes. It's like $4 that you can get at Ulta. But I can get two to three uses out of this. Um, it just really helps my hair. My hair is naturally curly and it's dry and it's frizzy and this just really makes it soft and more manageable and I thoroughly enjoy it. I am going to invest in the bigger size one of these days. Um, but for now I'm just going to keep buying the little ones because that's what I've been doing for about seven months. Um, <laughs> the other standout product is not going to be any surprise. It's the It's a Tan Miracle Leave-In. This one is plus keratin but that's only because they didn't have the original in stock when I bought went to go buy it. So I got the one plus keratin. I can't really tell the difference between the two. But this is a really great product. I can actually use shampoo and no conditioner in the shower and just use this as my conditioner when I get out. And it detangles and just leaves my hair nice and um, soft. And, you know, I think everybody loves that product. Um, my last hair product is the Tees Bounce Me Style Cream. I don't know where to get this, so if you guys know, please let me know. Um, I won this in some contest, but um, my hair is naturally curly, and I don't usually use much product or do really anything to it besides throw it up in a ponytail, hence where it's at today, um, or the I don't give a shit bun, which is usually all the way up here. Um, but when I do want to do something with my hair, but I don't want to take... 20 minutes doing um, mousse and hairspray and anti-frizz. This, if I apply it, you know, apply on damp hair, this does it all. I can apply this one step, air dry, and my hair looks really nice. Natural, bouncy curls, no frizz. It's not sticky or anything, so it's really, really nice. Um, as far as nail products, there was one standout collection for me this year, and um, it was the, obviously the Dark Shadows collection from Orly um, was a standout for me, but 
it's not available anymore and I feel like those colors can easily be duped. Um, I feel like these can probably easily be duped too, but they're actually still available. So um, it's the Skyfall collection and the two particular colors that I really love from it is the Spy Who Loved Me and Golden Eye. I just really think these are really two nice really nice colors. This red one has like hints of gold in it. I just really, really like these. So I've worn them quite a lot since I got them. That's the only thing I have for nails. Um, moving on to tools, real techniques. I did a whole video on real techniques when they first came out um, back in 2011. I own every brush they have. Um, two new ones that they came out with this year is the Expert Face Brush and the Setting Brush. This one's really good for setting um, powder underneath your eyes over your concealer. It's good for highlighting. This one's good for foundation. Um, the way it's shaped, it can be really good for contour. Um, I just, I don't really use any brushes besides Real Techniques. I don't really feel a need to um, invest in more expensive brushes or anything because those just are the best, I feel like. And every brush has multi-uses. You can use it more than one way and those are really the only ones I ever reach for. So those were just two new ones that came out this year that I highly recommend. Um, Concealer wise, the Dream Lumi by Maybelline Touch Concealer. This one is in the color Radiant, and I have been an avid user of the YSL Touche Claw for probably two and a half to three years, if not longer. I have sworn by that concealer. It's the one that I carry in my purse with me to touch up throughout the day. Um, it, uh, it's my go-to. I always go back to it. And this one is 100% a dupe for that, if not a little bit better. I will not be buying the Touche Claw again. This has replaced my Touche Claw without a doubt. So I feel like this has been in everybody's favorites video, so I feel like everybody knows that this is good. But if you don't, you should check this out because it is definitely really, really good. Um, eyeshadow wise, individual eyeshadow wise, the Color Tattoo by Maybelline 24 Hour Eyeshadows. This one's just in pomegranate punk, but before these came out, I think they came out at the beginning of 2012, um, I swore by the Makeup Forever Aqua Creams. Again, these are just as good. They are just as pigmented. They stay just as long without creasing. They're fantastic. I, again, I feel like everybody probably has these, but if you don't, you need to jump on the bandwagon because they are definitely, definitely just as good as the Makeup Forever Aqua Creams. Um, my standout lip product of the year, only because... You know, I mean, I, I've used so many different lip products, but this one really stood out to me as being really nice and unique. It's the YSL Glossy Stain. This one is in number 14. And these just are fantastic. They wear for hours and hours and hours without coming off. You can eat, you can drink. They look really, really nice. I, I love these. And apparently L'Oreal has come out with something that is supposed to be a dupe for these. So if you guys have tried the YSL Glossy Stain and you've also tried the L'Oreal one that's supposed to be a dupe, I don't know what it's called, um, will you let me know down below if it is in fact a dupe and just as good as these because if it is then I will not buy any more of these which I plan on doing and I will just buy those instead for way less. Um, but that is definitely a standout product for the year. Um, another standout product, this didn't come out in 2012, um, but I feel like it's been my standout product ever since it has come out, and it's the Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush. This one is in the color Flush, and I just love these. I have like four or five of these. Um, I really want to get, like, eventually have the whole, you know, the whole array of them. Um, because they're just that fantastic and they really do stay on for 12 hours. I have put that to the test and they're highly pigmented. They have matte shades, they have shimmer shades, they have basically whatever you're looking for in a blush they have and they are worth the money. They are the best I've ever found. Um, highlighter wise, I have tried a ton of liquid, powder, everything, highlighters, and um, I know these are not new for 2012, but they are new to me to 2012, and they're fantastic. The Benefit High Beam for when I want a more um, champagne-y, rosy type glow, and then the Benefit Sunbeam for when I want a more golden, bronzy highlight. <clears throat> 
probably will never use, you know, I mean, I'll use up the ones that I have, but I will probably never repurchase another highlighter because these are just that fantastic that these will be the ones that I just continue to go back to. Um, okay, wow, I'm really flying through this. I'm doing a really good job of not running my mouth. Um, two palettes that stood out to me this year, of course, the Lorac Pro Palette. I've talked and talked and talked about this. <coughs> I had it in a favorites video. Um, I feel like everybody kind of have has, has had this in a favorites video. It's got great matte, great shimmer, eyeshadows. Really, really nice. Definitely worth the price. And then another one that I could not do a best of 2012 product video without showing. I just couldn't because this Crimson Amulet Collection Inspired by the Dark Shadows Movies by NYX has been my most reached for palette since it came out. I have, and I have a lot of palettes, and this is the one I have reached for the most. I've used the most. I know it was limited edition. Um, I really didn't want to show anything limited edition in this video. In fact, I refrained from it, except for with this, because it, it's just that good. If you can find it on eBay, I, I grab it. If you can find it anywhere, grab it. It is that good. It's got a ton of shadows in it. It's got a mixture of shimmers and mattes that are all really, really nice. And then it's got blushes and a highlighter and lip glosses down here. The on that's the only negative in this kit is the lip glosses. They're not very pigmented or anything, but this has definitely been my standout palette of the year and I just, I couldn't do a video without putting this in it. Um, so, yeah, I think that is it, except for my randoms. Wow, I flew through this. Okay. So, my favorite CD of the year is Pink, The Truth About Love. Love this CD. Pink is just awesome. I, I just, I have every CD she's ever done, including, like, way back when, like, her first one and all of them since then. This is my favorite one. Um, probably, Just Give Me a Reason and try are two of my favorites but i really like blow me one last kiss as well and yeah it's it's just a great cd it's a good investment like sometimes i don't buy the cds because there's maybe like one or two hit songs on it and then pff, that's it you know you spent uh, you know 12 13 14 dollars on a cd and you got two songs out of it that you listen to but this one there's only like two songs that aren't worth listening to so i highly recommend this if you like pink if you like stuff like that if you don't I don't know. I mean, I listen to every every kind of music. I listen to all of it. Um, but that's just been my standout one of the year. And then I have three DVDs to show you because I watch a lot of movies. Um, that's just kind of what we do. <laughs> and one of them I've put in my favorites before, but it definitely bears repeating. And it's Bridesmaids. I don't know if it came out in 2012, but I got it in 2012. And it's just so hilarious. It's the funniest movie ever. If you don't have this, at least go rent it and give it a try. Because I know if you like, you know, I mean, if you watch me, you obviously like comedy. And <laughs> so if you like comedies, you will love this. It's just... It's just that good. And it's not a chick flick either. So, guys, if you're watching this and you think, oh, I'm not going to go see that because it's just a bunch of fucking chicks. It's not a chick flick. My fiancé loves it as much as I do. I mean, we just watch it over and over again and just crack up. It is hilarious. Another one that is really, really good is 21 Jump Street. I'm a huge Channing Tatum fan. Huge. Like, huge. It's sad. Uh, like, he is right there under Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp takes takes the spot, number one, always has, always will, but Channing Tatum is definitely second, and this movie is so, f it's got comedy, it's got, you know, a little bit, it's got action, it's got everything in it, and it's just fantastic, I love it, if you haven't seen it, rent it, uh, or buy it, I mean, it's worth, it's worth it, so, my last movie is obviously just for the looks department, <laughs> 
And that's Magic Mike. Um, the storyline in this movie was shit. I'm not going to lie. It's not a great storyline. But who really was watching Magic Mike for the freaking storyline? I mean, seriously, who was watching it for the storyline? I wasn't. Um, I watched it to see Channing Tatum do his, like, dances and do his magic because that's just what he does. And he does it very, very well in this movie. So, <laughs> there's a lot of people that do it very well in this movie. Um, but he obviously is the reason I got this movie. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a chick flick. You know, I, I would say this is a chick flick. Um, my fiance did watch it with me because I kind of made him and he was just like, eh, wah, wah, wah. Um, but I loved it, bought it, and if you buy the DVD, it's got like, um, extended scenes that were deleted and stuff really really good so yeah if you just want to watch a good movie that has a lot of sexy dancing and some sexy Channing Tatum in it then watch Magic Mike but not for the storyline because the storyline isn't good um so those are all of my standout products that I could think of for the year of 2012 if you guys make videos and you do this video leave it as a video response I would love to see it and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great 2013 so far. And I will see you again soon. Bye.